Give me your pick for the men's and women's race. This race used to be a midweek race. Now it's one of those long, long races. It's not a monument, it's a classic. A classic pick for me. I think that we're gonna see more Trek Sigafredo domination. So I'm just gonna say Mads Pedersen's gonna go, uh, you know, ping pong off of uh, Jesper Steuven's recent win. So I'm gonna go with Mads Pedersen for the men's pick and then uh, Christian Wilde for the women, you know, 2019 coming back again winning two years later. All right, fair enough. Those are very, very solid picks. I'll give it to you. I have no problem with them. For me though, I am going with a team. Jumbo Visma double at Ghent Wevelgem. Wout Van Eric, he has been just not quite putting it together in the uh, races so far in 2021, but not for lack of trying. He has always been there, thereabouts. Ghent Wevelgem is a race that is right up his alley. I can't say enough how technical this course is. Wefenert is, you know, quite literally at home on these technical Belgian roads. One of the better bike handlers out there, and the Kemmelberg is no problem for him. Combine that with the sprint that he has, I think that it is going to be his year at Ghent Wevelgem. On the women, that means my pick, of course, is Mariana Voss headlining this new Jumbo Visma women's team. Mm. I think that we are going to see uh, the yellow, oh, oh, what do people call them? Are, are they killer bees or wasps? Uh, what they are, the case? They, are, is... they, are, they are like killer bees, but I think I heard Bradley Wigan say recently that they better, they better spread, uh, well, they are spreading themselves too thin, uh, especially on the men's side, trying to win everything. So they better save some things up, uh, some save some energy up if they want to try to win the Tour de France because they've fallen flat recently, both in Paris Nice and uh, some other races. Michael, killer bees. They're Let's go with killer bees. Okay, they're killer bees, and I am not knocking any of their early season tactics. They are doing their jobs. They're winning races. Yeah, Primoz Roglic had a bad day on the last stage of Paris Nice, but that's behind us. I think that Welkvener and Mariana Voss are going to continue the streak for the Killer Bees. Tell me about your underdog picks. Well, Lauren Stevens on the women's side, Tipco. On the men's side, I, I feel kind of bad for not mentioning Sam Bennett is probably the favorite to win uh, and get Wevelgum and Wevelgum. So let's go with one of his teammates. Let's go with Steve Barr, who's... Uh, if we can call him an underdog, I think we can. He's not the out-and-out -out star to, to win Kent Wealth again. Michael? You're not going to like this, Gregor. I actually have picked Sam Bennett as an underdog. and you, d Don't get mad. I, we, we, all, we all know how good Sam Bennett is, how incredibly effective he is at winning bike races. But the Camelberg, I think that it is going to be too big of an ask for Sam Bennett. I think that riders like Wout Van Aert, Mads Pedersen, guys who can sprint but who also have that classics climbing ability, I think that they are going to be very keen to put a rider like Sam Bennett over the limit this second time up the Kemmelberg because none of them want to go to the line with him. If Sam Bennett is in the group with 10K to go, he's winning. I don't think that that's going to happen. I think uh, that is why Sam Bennett is my underdog. For the women, I'm going with Emma Norsgaard. She is a 21-year-old Danish rider riding for Movistar. You might remember her because she was second at Omloop Het Newsblad. Emma Norsgaard, she opened up her 2021 account with three podium finishes, second at Omloop and Les Semin, and third at the Healthy Aging Tour overall on GC. She won the youth category there. I think that she's knocking on the door of a big breakout classics win and why not at Ghent Wevelgem.